Hi, it's Tim with Timboy Photography. This week's tutorial is using the new Olympus OM-1 Mark III for birds in flight. Sponsor for this review is Olympus Camera. They sent me a copy of the EM-1 Mark III so that I could review it. All the things that I say in this video are my own opinions about this camera. Thank you Olympus for loaning me this camera and allowing me to be an early field tester. And so here's the first shot. I was out photographing trumpeter swans in the Skagit Valley of Washington State. It's famous in the wintertime for swans, snow geese, and raptors. And even on a foggy day, I was able to acquire these birds quickly. I was able to place my autofocus point right on the head of the lower bird, and I got a shot. There was no searching. There was no pulsing for the autofocus trying to search for the birds. It acquired focus rapidly and quickly, and I got my shot. Here we have a bald eagle taken with the 300mm f4 IS Pro lens and the 1.4 teleconverter, and you can look at those eyeballs, and they are sharp. So it acquired the bird quickly, it autofocused quickly, and I got the shots before it uh, flew past me. Now this bird's quite a bit further away. I had to crop this quite a bit, but this is a short-eared owl up in the Skagit Valley. Pretty far away, still pretty sharp. That's the 300 with the 1.4 teleconverter on there and the M1 Mark III. And you can see that it's this camera is very capable of capturing bird and flight images. And this red-tailed hawk, nice, sharp, crisp image, 1,250th of a second, F8 ISO 800, uh, nice action shot. And then here's a rough-legged hawk hovering. And you, here you can see again that we're getting pretty good definition. I cropped this some. The bird was pretty far away, but I was able to get a good shot even with the 300 and the 1.4 teleconverter. Red-tailed hawk flying by rapidly. I was able to acquire the subject, get a nice sharp image of this guy flying by. And you can see one five hundredth of a second, so a little bit slower of a shutter speed for birds in flight, but still this camera and lens combination was able to pick that right up and get me a good image. And then part of being in the, in the lower Klamath Basin area, I was there for the Winter Wings Festival. It's an annual birding and bird photography festival. And as part of that, we had a raptor photo shoot with West Coast Falconry, and they provided this nice Harris's hawk to photograph. And uh, you can see down here that it's definitely a captive bird. It's got a bell on it and some radio telemetry stuff, but still a nice sharp eyeball and uh, with this Harris hawk. So it's kind of fun just practicing birds in flight. These birds were moving pretty quickly. They also had a peregrine falcon, and you can see a little bit of the wire right here. I left this in there so you could see it. There's a little bit of the wire for the um, GPS device or the telemetry to track the bird if it flies away. Now this bird was flying around in a big circle and it was dive bombing the handler who was holding out a lure and moving the lure around so the bird would dive on it. I think the bird was going over 100 miles an hour but then it would come up and it would bank to make another go around and it would slow down and that's when we got our shots. And then here's a dark morph red tail hawk that West Coast Falconry had. And uh, you can see this bird's jumping up in the air. What you can't see is this wing is hiding all the telemetry devices on it so that it, they can find it if it flies away. But super sharp eyes, it's jumping up in the air, so lots of motion. But one 2,500th of a second at uh, f3.6 was able to freeze the action. And that's with that Mzuiko 40 to 150 28 lens and that is a really fast lens and it's pretty sharp uh, was able to get quite a few good images of birds in flight with that lens and then here we have another peregrine falcon same peregrine falcon this time it's coming straight in for the lure and i was one two thousandth of a second really fast moving bird it was challenging to try to photograph these birds but it's pretty exhilarating to get a photograph of this bird diving and then one of the last shots i took at the refuge on uh, Sunday night was this rough-legged hawk. It was uh, sunset, and this beautiful rough-legged hawk was kiting. They hover like a kestrel does when they're trying to search for food. This would have been its last meal of the day, and it's just a beautiful bird in soft, warm light. The M1 Mark III is a pound lighter than the M1X, and so now I've got, a, what, four and a half pounds, and I can shoot at 600 millimeters effective focal length, 840 millimeters effective focal length, and I'm really going to be able to do a nice job on birds in flight photography. 
the autofocus and the acquisition is just as fast as the M1X and this might just be my new go-to camera going forward. If you enjoy what I'm doing on this channel, give me a subscribe, like, and share this with your friends. They might like to learn more about bird photography as well. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.